Hi, today I'm taking you outside. We are gathering the sheep. So we'll see how that goes. It's raining a little bit. So I hope that won't be a problem, but I don't think so. Let's go. So, I will explain what's happening. So we are gathering the sheep. Usually we have more people, because we are living in the time that we live in right now. We don't have that many people here right now. And now I have a bunch of sheep going the wrong direction. <laughs> and also there is more. There's more sheep further down the road and I need to get them all. Why am I so winded? Why am I breathing like I just ran a marathon? It's because the property is pretty big and also these little hills, you see that? Those are like bumps. It's not flat. When I go in it, you can see that sometimes you go down, then sometimes you go up and that makes it really hard to run on. The thing is with sheep, that they are herd animals. So if there's like one or two sheep going off the herd, all of the sheep just sort of don't listen, let's say, but they just don't go the way you would like them to go. Oh wait, I see the group. <laughs> oh, I can get them. I can probably get them on my own. Yeah, so finally I got them on track and now I have friends to help me as well. Look at them bastards. So maybe let me explain what the hell is going on. <laughs> I've been running around trying to get some sheep. What is going on? So this is what we call Retir and we are gathering the sheep basically back into our farm and back in the barn because over the summer they're running around all, all over these hills that you see around, they're beautiful now. It's autumn, so the colors are going crazy. And we have some people on the sh on the ship. We have some people on the horses. Some people like me that are running around, and that's sort of demanding. I hear someone shouting, so that's more people probably. I'm telling you, I'm gonna lose my voice today. <laughs> because you have to scream at them a little bit because they don't listen of course they're wild animals, they're just running around, you know it's a little bit tricky sometimes like now when they don't, mo they don't want to move <laughs> they're going slowly, okay but there's this group and they don't listen to me at all and walking on this is very tricky like walking is fine Running! Running is bad! Up, 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 up. So that's the sort of scream you have to sometimes make to make them uh, to make them go the direction you want. Oh look at them. Look at them go. This this gives me hope. I can see the farm now. I'm finally reaching the farm. The sheep are on their way. <laughs> now I have a little bit more time to explain. So in May is the lambing season and all the lambs are getting born. And then by end of May, maybe a beginning of June, we put them all outside and they are just running around on the hills, feeding on the grass around. 
and the beta link <laughs> that I showed in the last video explore Iceland so yeah they're running around eating grass drinking water from the streams and rivers and then in September which is now you gather them back to your farm and that's it <laughs> nothing else happens afterwards of course Icelanders usually have sheep for the meat it's probably the only use the wool is not that expensive so they don't really use it I know there is like a I should get rid of it I know that <laughs> there, is, there is one sheep that's like protesting she really doesn't want to go that's why it's sometimes challenging because the old sheep they know their way they know the way back home basically and they can lead other lambs and other sheep back home but then there are the new ones that got born this year and they don't know what's going on you know it's their first time coming back from from the land and from like from the hills back home so they don't know the route yet and they don't know what's happening and people are you know like running around and running around on horses and yelling at them so that's why they sometimes get like freaked out a little bit So, we are almost done, most of the sheep are now almost on the property. This is usually like the easiest part, but right now because we, like I said before, we don't have that many people, it's a little bit more challenging. Yeah, so we basically have like electronic family tree of all the sheep and you can take notes on like how good of uh, meat you got from each lamb you know and stuff like that so you know which sheep gave you those lambs and so you know that you should keep those sheep right now the lambs are just all over i'm tired i'm just too tired and wet from the rain it was raining for a long time and now it stopped a little bit but yeah you can see the rain is in the mountains now you can just look around and see what the weather will be like in uh, 30 minutes because you see just everywhere these little flies <laughs> are flying in my face but yeah so usually we would take them all the way back to the farm I think that today we are not going to do that we are just going to get them on the property so they eat our grass here now and then later maybe in a few days we'll take them back into the barn and then you have to count them <laughs> yes I professionally count sheep look at this little river I really like just walking around in my um, boots oh and there is a hole of course <laughs> so now my <laughs> foot is wet great anyway yeah usually we would take them all the way back to the barn count them see if we have any lambs or sheep from other farmers and return them to the farmers and then you keep them for a longer time and then uh, at some point you send them to the slaughterhouse for the meat and you keep some of them of course for the next year and that's basically it i will be here over the winter so i will try to make more videos from the barn just to show you what's going on maybe even though there won't be much but yeah let's finish up with this rounding with this gathering and here I think these lambs that are in front of me wait I have to show you I think these lambs they're right here these lambs I think those are the lambs I was feeding until like the whole June basically you could see them in the video I made about lambing season in Iceland. They're at the end when I'm feeding the lambs the bottles of milk 
I think that these are those lamps. My God, look at this. It's a double rainbow. So, this is it for today. All the sheep are on the property now, feeding on the grass, everything went fine. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you next time. But until then, ciao!